Geez, blooming beautiful she is. Hello everyone, welcome back to our journey beyond the abyss. Yes, as implied, there's nothing for it but to get this bloomery going. However, before I do, I think I am going to make a set of bellows to speed up the process, because, uh, yes, as I believe I showed you last time, it would take 24 minutes otherwise. So this is a relatively simple craft. It's just going to take two of those masonry bricks. We already have one. And I'll just take the five bricks for another already. Oof, lagging like crazy right now. I am not entirely sure why. Tis what tis. Forgive me if I sound a little low energy. I'm uh, doing double duty tonight. This is immediately after I finish recording an episode of Breath Edge. I don't have any stone sticks in storage. Easy enough to remedy. And then I just need two leather and two boards. I happen to have two leather. And I have no non-tarred boards. Also easy enough to remedy. Let's just give that a single piece of charcoal. It's fine. Oof. That is becoming quite a cloud we have gathered. Ah, uh, no. I thought I would take the end products first, but oh well. So I believe that was those. Center. One more piece of paste. Another brick. The two boards. And the two bricks. Lovely set of bellows. And that should help the process tremendously. I believe I just have to place it down facing inwards. Yes, that looks like it's facing the right side. And then, I am not going to use the two charcoal bricks it would take to fuel this thing. I'm just going to guess at around six pieces of uh, charcoal. Now, the thing about the bloomery is that when it's in operation, it produces a massive amount of slag. And it's just going to spit it out its front. And if you let the slag build up, then the device will not be able to continue operation. So, actually I wonder, what happens if it just pours into water? And how far can it fall? I have not done much science with the bloomery, because frankly the bloomery is terrible, and the less you experiment with it, the better in my... The, the less you have to experience it, the better in my opinion. But anyway, yes, pumping the bellows... We'll speed up the process, but it will also cause the machine to spit out slag incredibly quickly. Yes, you see it is just building up down in our basin. Just pouring right out at prodigious rates. Mm hmm. And this is just what the process is going to be jump and pump and hopefully we will be able to uh, smelt our bloom with plenty of time remaining. I'm not sure to what degree bellows speed up the process but um, I do know it is quite a hefty factor. Yes, otherwise I would be running around finding things to do for 20 minutes while this thing smelts, which is not an unreasonable option. Is this shovel? Is this pickaxe? Yes. And I do think that this is too tough for me to do by hand. Yes. So we might need to make a couple of pickaxes because this is going to produce a lot of slag. Yes, and you see slag has a chance of burning you from the little particles it lets out. Now. 
nasty stuff. I'm not going to bother picking up all of it. Slag is moderately useful. Eight of it will turn into a slag heap, which you can then put into the bloomery again. And uh, the slag bloom, what's going to happen is once we get the blooms out, you have to hammer them to get resources out of them. And uh, I believe that smelting the slag bloom will also produce more slag. So I believe that technically it's possible to produce infinite resources from the bloomery. But it is such a slow, tedious, and just boring process that, frankly, I do not think it's worth it. There are other means of resource collection and resource generation in the pack that, even if they aren't infinite, are simply so much faster and plentiful enough that this is just not worth bothering with. But yeah, it's just kind of keep an eye on that one. And once we see the slag start piling up above ground level, as it will do. I believe it can get up to one half block in front of the bloomery, a little bit higher than this perhaps, before it will stop operation. And uh, yeah, we just have to keep on pumping this thing until the slag stops. And that's all there is to say about the matter. I suppose that I could put a couple more pieces of charcoal in just as a safety factor. And yes, you, you can just put charcoal in while this is in operation. It's fine. And uh, we are going to need a couple of tools. It wants us to make a flint hammer. Why? Fine. Okay. Whatever. Let's make a damn flint hammer. Uh, let's see, we have ten of those, so four, eight. And get rid of our change. And we'll need loads of paste. We'll need more paste than that, so let's build a bucket and get some more paste going. I know, I should not call it paste. It is not paste. But at this point, I think the pattern is just etched into my brain. And it will forever be paste to me. Oh, I already had water in the buckets. Oh well, it's good to have that in our pack anyway. Yes, we have plenty of sugarcane to go through still. Although, harvesting the fields wouldn't hurt. And I probably should start upgrading my storage chests too. Yes, you know, that is a task that will take quite a while. I could just uh, load up some more charcoal and let the bloomery do its thing naturally and uh, give you a lovely inventory management episode. I imagine that those are just screamingly popular amongst all of you. It's the action that you absolutely want to see, the... the uh, wonderful climactic action that your soul yearns for. Yes, I too, I too believe in the great wonder of a uh, tedious and organized logistical sorting. Should I give you this treat? Should I give you this wonderful gift? Hmm, you know? I believe I just might. You deserve it for being such wonderful viewers. So yeah, let's load up some additional charcoal. I'm just gonna guess 10 or so. I'm guessing that this is about halfway-ish through the process. I do not know how fast the bellows accelerates thing. I do not know how much slag this requires to eject. So I am operating completely off of guesswork at this point. All right, and I was going to make some more tool rods first. That is probably something I should do before I wear out my pick because we, we don't want to be in that situation.
Ah, yes, I needed four more of those, in fact. Exactly perfect, wow. That is, uh, we operate on fine margins and exacting precision in, on this channel, yes, of course. Uh, th that is our watchword, and not at all just flying by the seat of our pants, derping at every step of the way. No, not at all. Everything is calculated. I do not have enough paste for this yet. But we can get the ball rolling, as it were. And, nah, that shouldn't take too terribly long to process. This goes fairly quickly. How's our jungle trees doing? Is it time for another cut yet? No, not yet. That's another thing I should be doing. I should be expanding the tree farm. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. We'll be doing some chores while the bloomery is working. I know, I know. Very, very exciting stuff. Oh, right. I should have loaded the next batch while I was there. There we are, quite lovely. Now I do believe I'm going to need a pickaxe. And dip, 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 dip. And I am hungering for the end of this age when we can make this so much easier. And yes, what was it that I needed? I needed a flint hammer and uh, flint tongs, I do believe. Yes, that'll just require some stone. And are we out of paper filters? Yes, we are. So we're going to need to make some more of those. I believe that's that way. Yes. I think it was paper on the cardinals. Let's see if I'm right. I'm right. What do you know? Let's bet on me being right again. I think the pattern goes like that. With a charcoal in the center. Am I right? Or am I right? God, I'm good. Don't quote me on that the next time I'm inevitably an idiot. And get a couple flint shards going. And doop, doop, doop. Tongs are going to require three flint and two of those stone sticks. And I believe it was like this and like that. Uh huh. The flint tongs will actually be mildly useful. You need them to take the bloom out of the oven. Speaking of, it's time to clean up its mess. Keep that nice and cozy and going. Because it will still be burning fuel, but it won't be progressing so long as the slag is piled up. It's fine if some of the slag burns. We we have we aren't going to be using it, frankly. Now I believe that it should be like that, like that, and then it'll be one and four twine and pulp. Like so. Flint hammer, that we will just immediately discard. Diamond Hammer is going to work just damn fine. And now we are stuck on quest progress until the bloom is done. 
So let's get going on some storage upgrades. Was it called crate? It do. So to upgrade our crates into durable crates, we're going to need four tarred boards and four masonry bricks each. So right now we can upgrade, oh, we have an uneven number of those. That is tragic. Can I make just one tarred board? Do I have enough stock for that? Yes, I quite obviously do. Wood tar is one of those resources that uh, you're going to get an effectively infinite amount of if you're doing all of your pit burns in something with collectors in it. Frankly, I'm probably going to have to delete these collectors from time to time if I need to switch to, say, coal tar. Oh god, it's cold. And I don't really have an effective means of warming myself up. Mm. Yes, I think the only sustainable means of creating a patch of heating that won't be burning down fuel or the like are to have a lava source or a flaming netherrack under the floor. Well, or above ground in a pool, but you know, that would be hazardous and you know me and hazards. We're just magnetically attracted. If I have a way to hurt myself, I am going to hurt myself. It isn't even masochism, it's just the sheer facts of life. <sighs> Goodness, that piled up quickly. Yes, even just on its own, without a bellows helping it, these things will spit out slag at a decent enough pace. Just mine it all the way down. It's okay if we lose some. Okay, so equal parts of bricks and boards. And I believe it was bricks on the cardinals. We'll just lay that out and uh, we will, no, no, it should be eight per side, yes. And we will essentially be using this to upgrade our crates one at a time. The plan here is going to be that uh, I will organize my inventory as best I can, fill up all my hotbar slots so nothing goes into them. So I know that the last item in my list is just deniers. And then I will go to a deserving chest, like we have quite a lot of repeats of clay balls here. Take that, put it on. I should have a hammer in my hotbar. Upgrade. Swap her out, and how many stacks can fit in a single slot? One, two, two stacks. Ah, 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 these are twice as big. And uh, yeah, that may not be overwhelming, but it's more than you think. This one is going to overweight me. Yep, so we are going to need to juggle a little bit. But that's fine. And we can just toss everything right on back in there. Our diamonds will now stack up nicely. Good, yes. And this is probably our next most deserving chest. Not a terribly involved process. Not exactly going to take us too much time not to run through just eight of them. If I were upgrading the whole damn pack, it would possibly be a little bit, uh, a little bit of a grind. Let's bash down our slag now. 
Another thing I'd like to do is I would like to make some stashes for some of the things that we pile up just hundreds of. Mm, yes, that... Okay, once I run through the eight chests, we will make some stashes, and I will consider what resources we are grinding the most of. Uh, this is a chest with a lot of repeated stacks in it. And let's just go. Kindling. Yes, even with just a mere two stacks per slot, let's just delete the extra dried stuff. Do I have any other uses for the straw bale other than I could make tar bales and those are a decent fuel and can be pit burned. So that's essentially a way of uh, soaking up wood tar. Does it recycle into more wood tar? Let's see. It takes a bucket of wood tar per it recycles into no even in a refractory burner. So yes, that is essentially a means of disposing of excess wood tar right there. Which is a plan. I could start converting that over. Essentially turning spare wood tar into more charcoal. No, that's a good deserving one. Then again, charcoal is probably a resource I want in a stash. But eventually we're probably going to have multiple stacks of charcoal chips, as well as we want lots of wood. Mm. And this is also kind of an opportunity to maybe lay out the individual slots of where I want everything a bit more neatly. Not that that particularly matters. And what is our next... Who is our next contestant? Hmm. Sticks, mob drops. Let's go with mob drops. That is one thing that it will be relatively slowly accumulating, but I would want a lot of it in one place, I suppose. Also, there's the fact that eggs, I believe, only stack to 16. So it would be nice to have a, at least a double slot for that. And yes, no real rhyme or reason to the order there, I'll admit. Hmm. I suppose that having a bigger stockpile of food is advantageous. Food and vaguely plant-related things. Eh. Slag is piled up. I believe if you stand on the slag long enough, it'll set you on fire, too. <sighs> yep. And I think this is the real way to play JBTA, is to find yourself a nice long process to babysit and then do things surrounding it. You can't really see how much charcoal goes into the bloomery. Oh boy. We are on fire fire. Eh, never mind. Last of our tripe. Lovely. Let's just bonk a few more pieces of uh, charcoal in there for the sake of safety. Eh, sure, lots of paper and pulp. That would be a nice thing to pile up. Let it go, thank you. Paper. Hope. All right, and I needed to put 
put all my plant products back to. And there, there. This should kind of go into... Are there any other uses? Is this essentially just raw pyrotech convertible at the time? I suppose. And we have completed... Yes, we, we formed a nice little... Uh, ah, yes, it's a little man begging on his hands and knees, begging for us to give him more resources. Yes, that's quite lovely. <clears throat> now next, I want to make a couple of stashes. For that, I'm going to need slabs. So, let's just convert a set of eight planks into slabs. That'll get us 16. That'll make three stashes. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Give that just like one charcoal, it's fine. Eh, give it two for safety. Charcoal is not exactly a rare resource at the moment. There we go, our lovely tar bales. continue emptying out the excess wood tar. And I should open up the pit burner just so I can have a guess at how much... Ah, this looks like it's going to empty it out. And I would like to keep a small amount of wood tar available in the... in the system just for use, just in case we need some sort of tarry material. Yes, I think one of the statues is definitely going to be... Hmm. So, one stack and eight. And the rest of all y'all are technically change. Are you done? You done. And you did in fact go through a second piece of charcoal. Lovely. Let's just clean this up. I don't like the looks of the big piles of wood chips around the flaming sawmill. That just seems like a fire hazard begging to happen. I suppose I could compact these down. Not quite enough for a burn in there, but close to. Actually, yeah, we could do a, another wood chip burn. That's a lovely idea. And that'll give us enough wood tar to get a tar bale burned together. With just a little bit of change left. Exactly the way we want it. Lovely. Yep, we are just making a day of this. And I'm not sure if the bloomery will go out kind of on its own once the bloom is finished cooking. and Or if it'll only go out once the charcoal is completed. We can kind of look in there and see, I guess. I, I believe that once the bloom is completed, it should just become an ash block. Oh, yes, I have that to deal with. A boop. What are we doing? Ah, oh, nice. Got a lovely connection of charcoal briquettes building up. But, uh, yes, I wanted to make some stashes. And I will immediately upgrade them, I think. So, just need four per. If I'm making three, I'm going to need twelve pulp. And then I believe it was just like that. And that, like that. Yep, 
nearly perfect. Just have one spare slab that can sit in purgatory. And of course we want to immediately upgrade these. There is no point in not at this point. Oh shoot, do I not have enough tar boards? Well, that's a good thing that we, uh, I don't have enough board boards really. But it's a good thing that we have some spare wood tar to go through. Yes. And there we go. <coughs> Pardon. Yes. A double recording in a single day is making my throat a little bit tired, I suppose. It's nice to be speaking at a calmer, less projecting volume. I suppose I could start compacting these down into blooms that I will never use. And you know what, I'm just going to delete the slag. Yep, that sounds like a plan. And remind me the... Yeah, I think that's actually the opposite of how it was for the crates. Interesting. Ah, uh, yes, and there's one thing I've been meaning to try. I know that the ash can be compacted into ash piles, but I vaguely remember in another pack named Exoria, I think these ash piles were a block, and uh, they they were special in one sense that they could be shift right click no. Okay, but if I just shovel them, ah, that's how they deconstruct. Yes, and they deconstruct into exactly eight ash. So, um, essentially, that is a means of compacting ash piles, but I think that also takes one use of shovel power per, per, uh, per go. So, I don't think we want to use that. Four. That's enough for one. And we will make that first one our ash. I think I'll just have our stashes on the side over here. Yes. I am not quite sure how many stacks a stash holds. I know it's quite a lot. enough fuel. Oh boy. I think our next stash is going to be for charcoal. Simply because that's always an unprofitable choice of resource to have a load of. I am going to run out this pick before I run out this bloomery. Yup. Let's throw in a little bit more charcoal just to be safe. Do I have good? I should make some more bone shards just to uh, just to be safe. I'll just make those remaining stashes before I make a new pickaxe. I have time until the bloomery runs over. There we are. Go. Now I'll just put 
this back over with the wood. Mm, let's put it over there, yes. And a new pickaxe. With those. And immediately I'm going to smash some more bone chips. Don't ever let us run out of things to craft more pickaxes. Okay, well, uh, let's decide what our other two sashes should be. I think that should be sugar cane and charcoal. And I think I will call that enough chores for the day. So let us get back to blooming. Yes, it must fight us every step of the way. You can see that uh, you don't want to be using this to create the iron you're going to need. Just go and steal it from platforms, from ships, from the initial oil rig. Don't bloom your iron. It ain't worth it. Huh. Ah, lovely! One way or another, we seem to have perfect timing. I think we right-click it, left-click it. What do we do? Shovel. Aha! Right-click with shovel. And there, that is a bloom. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, it's a girl. Yes, and now we simply take her. I should put an anvil next to the water because whenever you are hammering a bloom, there is a chance that it will set you on fire. Yep. And so we get iron nuggets out of it. We should... Oh, that's all. That's all, folks. Slightly more than one ingot of iron from all that trouble. Yes, that certainly won't stack anymore. But, those nine lovely nuggets of iron, oh, stone tongs, not flint tongs. A derp, a derp, and a derp. God, I hope it didn't... No, it's just going to ask for iron nuggets. Okay. That's good. That's good. I think I'm going to need more stone sticks. A dupe. And how do tongs happen? Three flint and a filter. Or pope. Doop, doop, doop. Quest complete. And quest also immediately complete. But yes, then you need to turn the nuggets into shards by giving them another whack with the hammer. Which we already put the anvil away. But it's fine. Yes, and nine of these shards, we could also hammer them into unfamiliar items, but nine of these shards could become this iron shard pile, which we could then go over onto our anvil and finally, finally turn it into an ingot. But, um, yes, obviously that won't be happening. Um... I guess I could call this nuggets and shards. I think we have a couple uses for shards. Shards are used in the production of uh, blades and cogs. Yes, bone, flint, stone. Ah, I thought the cogs demanded uh, diorite, but I guess it's just any old pebble now. That's neat. 
But yes, we obviously won't be doing that production chain. We will just be advancing the age by taking one of our lovely iron ingots into our hand and realizing that it was by our side all along. Ah, beneath the wind and waves is done. We are quite thoroughly done with this chapter. And the next one is gonna be a production. Oh boy, howdy yes. Oh boy. But, you see this? This is exciting news. Yup. That is going to be fantastic. Um, some ash over there. And let's withdraw that. Is our burn completed? Yes, it do. So let's get some more tar bales going. Just to clean it up. Let's eat our heart out. Get rid of that. That's just fine. Uh, these are both durability for it base, so yes, get rid of that. We will keep one set of tongs just in case we ever need to bloom something. Just on the off chance, but no. That is likely going to be the one and only time we shall ever use the bloomery. And in fact, I will just replace the slag hole plug. But yes, let's make us a crafting table. I could go and steal one from the millionaire villages, but why bother? Yes, you see, it isn't terribly hard. I just need to soak up some of my wood into planks. And I need that one iron ingot. We were very damn near capable of uh, just advancing on our own, but I guess we needed the experience. We needed to cultivate the knowledge in our head through blunt repetition. Only then could we could we create the true epitome of uh, the early game victory. Finally being able to craft like proper baseline Minecraft. Just kind of clean up the wood chips as it's producing. Keep the floor of the base clean. Ah, so one charcoal is enough to do a full eight on the table. I was just tardy last time, I guess. In many senses of the word. But this is also an advantage of having a backup table in storage. It's very dang easy to give it an upgrade. And isn't that a sight for sore eyes? Let's just move our hammers over to there, because we no longer need them. Their service is appreciated, but it is no longer necessary. We now have a proper damn crafting table. And yeah, it can do everything that work table can do, just like in, just like in regular old Minecraft. And isn't that a wonderful, wonderful feeling? Oh, good lord, yes. And next quest, I believe, was just a furnace. Which, how hard is that going to be? We need to make a refractory oven. That's just going to be creating a lot more refractory bricks. Let's hold off on that till next time, because my voice is feeling like it is going to give out on me. So, uh, yes. Achievement get. We are now playing proper Minecraft. Have yourselves a lovely evening, everyone.